before you know it, you're willing to share your love and your passion with anyone. Hi, I'm Christine Evans. I'm a person-centered expressive arts therapist in Santa Cruz, California. A colleague of mine, he invited a thousand artists from across the country to come on the mall to create art in public. So on that day, I brought out a table of tiles and a template for the creation of this bench. And people walked by all day long and asked, what are you doing? And can I participate? And um, they glued in the pieces to make this bench. It was fascinating to see how much people came alive when they were working on this. They just loved it. They just loved it. When I first started creating, I was an accountant. And I had an experience where I got in touch with that I didn't want to spend another lifetime not being creative. But I was very, very self-conscious about creating art. When I went to the Expressive Arts Therapy Association conference in Hong Kong, uh -huh. um, it was just an incredible experience with being with 400 people from around the world, right? It was just <laughs> incredible. And after, at the end of the conference, there was a meeting where everyone gathered to talk about what are we gonna do to help bring the expressive arts to our communities. And someone drew an octopus. The arm that represents wise vision starts here, goes around the entire hole, and there's um, some words that say, remember Rogers. And then it comes over here to a dove. It's just fun. The joy for me at this point and the surprise actually has been how much making mosaics right here attracts people. People I know who aren't into art at all have found that mosaics are particularly accessible as an art form. It's hard to make an ugly mosaic. particularly um, fun for toddlers. Mommy, mommy, can I go to the mosaic bench? Can I go to the bench? There's something about allowing that process to be internal and private for as long as needed until the motivation and the and the trust and maybe relationship with one other person to share and then maybe two other people and then before you know it you're willing to share your love and your passion with anyone but it's okay for it to start as a personal private thing I think that was my experience and and I love it. It's been quite a joy and a surprise for me as I deepen my own relationship to an art form that I love to see it spreading with people I love and perfect strangers.